Welcome to Kevin Makes Cool Things. I'm Kevin, and this is Shinoa Haragi's weapon, named Shikama Doji, from the Seraph no Wari series. I stumbled across the Seraph no Wari manga a while ago, and I love binging a good series. I enjoyed it, and thought it might be cool to make something from it. I was stumped for a while, because the series doesn't have many small props. I'd like to do something big, like Shinoa's full-size scythe, but I live in a cramped apartment. If I made a full-size prop like that, I'm pretty sure my girlfriend would beat me with it. Making the small version of Shinoa's scythe, before it manifests and transforms, seemed like a better choice. It appears in this form a few times. The image I'm using is from chapter 3 of the manga. I imported this image into GIMP, adjusted it a little, and got to work. I did two things on this project which worked so well, I've used them for all my subsequent projects. First, when I made my model in OpenSCAD, I made it so that 1mm of the model was equal to 1 pixel of the reference image. Before this, I was doing a bunch of conversions which, looking back, were really silly. I can just make it at a 1 to 1 scale and then change the size at the end. This approach has saved me a ton of time and effort. Second, I created a black and white version of what I was making and imported it into OpenSCAD. I was able to do this because the shot was straight on, and it let me easily check my work. I used some for loops and shapes to recreate this prop. I went to a lot of trouble to make sure that the edges were rounded. I didn't realize that that rounding wouldn't show up after I scaled the model down, and I'm definitely not bitter about it. For the center, I traced the image in GIMP and imported it into OpenSCAD. Then I used a difference to cut that shape into what I'd made. Since this is symmetrical, I created a copy and flipped it around. I scaled the model down to an appropriate size, which was around 6 inches based on this image. Normally, I scale props using my hands as a reference, but since my hands are significantly larger than the characters would be, I used my girlfriend's instead. I printed out my model, and it was worrying. Some of the details were just hanging on by a thread. I went back to the image I used to cut out the center, and created a revised version that was a little more robust. I gave it a quick sand, put on some wood filler, and then sanded it again. I used some little files to clean up these details. There were some parts that I could have gone back and touched up, but I didn't bother since I'm painting this black, and that will hide most of the imperfections. I applied a couple of coats of black acrylic paint, and it was looking good. I finished it off with a couple of coats of matte Mod Podge. Here's a shot of my girlfriend holding it. I think it looks really good, especially given how easy it was to make. If you want to make your own, I've included a link to the file in the video's description. If you want to support the channel, then please like and subscribe.